Hi, I'm Kevin Bolmer for NoScheduleman.com. What a beautiful day. Welcome to November in Ontario, Canada. And specifically, today is Sunday, November the 13th. And I share that date with you to let you know that today is the culmination of what's been a pretty interesting week, particularly for our global neighbors to the south in the United States, who earlier in the week that I'm recording this video made their choice between two rather interesting political candidates represented here. Now, the result of that has been a really uncomfortable social media storm of blame, shame, finger pointing, divisiveness, and nastiness that in my opinion speaks to the environment that we've created that would produce a couple of candidates like that in the first place. I think that they're the symptom, not necessarily the cause, but we probably don't want to think that we're affecting that as much as we are. Think about it for a second though, because we're all human. It doesn't matter what candidate support you supported, or what you feel that your politics are, or where you live anywhere around the world, let alone Canada here or the United States. We're all human, and what do we all want? We all want to be happy. We all want to feel safe, and we all want happiness. So why can't we work together to achieve that? Well, I think part of the challenge is that we all have different ideas on what happiness means. So we allow that to pull us apart? We've got to find a better way to do this. Let me show you how easy it is for us to get knocked off track. Never mind these two candidates here. I'm going to put them away, all right? And let's see if we can find something that all things being equal, we all feel a little bit better about at least and, and agree upon. So um, this, I, I would admit, would not be ideal uh, anyway, but just looking at what I had around the house, I thought what would represent something that would be a, a more hopeful candidate that maybe more of us <laughs> could agree on. So we'll bring him into the picture, okay? Maybe makes a higher percentage of people feel good? Good. We're going to put our candidate down right here. Okay, you stand there, Sue. Now, that makes people feel a little bit better. Yeah, I can get behind that. And so our perspective on it is aligned similarly. So let's then take a photo of this particular candidate, all right? We've got a digital camera and we've got an old cell phone which also has a camera in it. They're at the same height, they're pointed at the same subject on the same day at the same time. And if I click those photos at the exact same time, what do you think is gonna happen? Well, they're pointed at the same thing, right? So the photos should look exactly the same when they come out, right? But will they? Probably not. Why not? Well, they're each looking through the subject through their own lens and through their own set of circumstances, the internal workings and all that kind of stuff. So think about how even if we can agree on something, our perspectives, if we're two different people, still aren't going to be the same on what we're seeing or what we think should happen. So which one of us is right? You know, it seems to me that all this pulling apart and when I look at the, the rhetoric and the nastiness and, as I said, the blame and the shame and, and the finger pointing, especially of this last week, I think we just keep getting exactly what we deserve. We're getting the way, we're getting represented the way we behave. So if we want different choices to make when it comes to another election in another 4, 8, 12, 16, 20 years, maybe we don't really want to hear this but that it's up to us to affect and create the environment that we want represented for us. We can wait for, I don't know, a candidate like this or a candidate like that to swoop in and make all our issues go away. Or maybe we can accept the fact that you and I aren't always going to see things the same way. But that doesn't necessarily make you wrong or me right or vice versa. But we both just want to be happy. Maybe if I give a little your way and you give a little mine and we work together, we can all get what we want. But it's going to start with us if we want change at any point down the line. I'm Kevin Bolmer for NoScheduleman.com.